God damn it, John. You just gotta put it on the bag. That's all you gotta do. Is anyone, is anyone there? How's it going, guys? Dude, the Deus Ex soundtrack is so good. What's up? Yo, what was that? Uh, what are you talking about? It's just a, just a solo stream today. You know, um, I got, I got nothing, nothing planned today. You know, nothing, nothing planned at all yet today. I'm not saying there's anything's planned today, but nothing, nothing really crazy. You know, nothing, nothing going on here. You know, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're live. You like this music, dude? This is the Deus Ex music. Alright, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. Yo, that's Dylan2NA, the unbaited one in the chat. Um, alright, alright, hold on, guys. Let me start this. Let me... Nothing at all, question mark, question mark. Yes. Um, don't, uh, how's it going today, guys? Um, welcome to the stream today. Uh, welcome, welcome to today's stream today. I, I literally just woke up from a nap, like, uh, 20 minutes ago. Um, and, uh, it's so far just been kind of like a, a normal day for me. You know, I woke up and, uh, made a burger and I went back to bed. Um. So I thought that maybe we could do a nice little solo stream, you know, just me, no, no guests as we normally do, um, and just sort of uh, keep going forward, you know. Uh, how how are you guys doing this week? This fine ass, uh, this fine week. Uh, the winning results. 
the winning results are in. Um, I I have suffered a wrist injury. Oh. I thought I saw something for a second there in the corner of the camera. I don't know about you guys. Did you see that? The fuck? The fuck is that? It's just another day. It's another day in the unbaited household. UFC 300 is today, and I have to miss it since I'll be at work. Life is a pain. Dude, it's crazy that there's been 300 different UFCs. I wonder if you could just, like, watch them all at the same time. Like, I remember when I was a kid, UFC 100 was, like, a big deal. You know? So, I, I'm sure you guys, um, I saw the name of the stream. Um, uh, Breaking Retirement. Who's Breaking Retirement? Um, I, I thought that would be nice to have a nice little ambiguous title. Um, to sort of, you know, bring things back. Dude, I, I, I miss I miss doing these streams, man. It's been a couple weeks. I don't know how you guys have been, but a lot has changed. What would you guys uh, think of WrestleMania? Um, I have a lot to say about WrestleMania, actually. Um, honestly, like, one of the one of the better WrestleManias I've seen. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, um, I actually, uh, the question marks, uh, I have no idea. Um, what to play today, but I, I put in Sly Cooper. Um, WrestleMania 40 was so good. Dude, I, Little Pony, I agree, man. I totally fucking agree, dude. I, I think the, I think they were making it clear that Vince McMahon is, is out, and, uh, Triple H is in, and Triple H is doing what's hip, like swearing, or, uh, bringing back old school endings from the Ruthless Aggression era. It was awesome, dude. I feel like this WrestleMania kind of focused less on promos and more on actual, like, matches. That was that was kind of sick. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's, what, that's why I didn't stream last week. Uh, I was watching WrestleMania, and then the week before that was Easter. Um, so, yeah, I, I've been wanting to get into the groove. I haven't heard from John in quite some time, so uh, same with Matt. Uh, so I, I decided to just sort of... Uh, just sort of do whatever, I guess. Um, so yeah, I hope WWE does less this title run. Uh, do does less title runs that last over a year now. Kind of sucks if everyone being a long reigning champion. Yeah, I know <coughs> Barack Lesnar and Roman Reigns. Um, <coughs> super uh, Cena. <laughs> no, I agree, dude. I I think the reign of of Roman Reigns has kind of like pushed me away from modern wrestling for a very long time, so the fact that it switched over to Cody really made a statement. I was kind of joking about it the entire, like, WrestleMania, that, uh, that I would just, like, uh, shit, I have my audio ended. And I was just joking that, that uh, Roman Reigns was going to win and still forever be the champion, because it, it, there, nothing would change, you know? Roman Reigns is always just going to be the champion, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, how's you guys? How's you guys' time been? You know, uh, do anything, do anything fun in the past couple, couple weeks? How was that? Uh, how was that eclipse? Did you like that eclipse? That was that was wild. I'm ready for a, for another extraordinary uh, stream with you guys today. Um, all right, this is kind of getting this this. Uh, I'm running out of things to say for this for this bit. So like. Um, yeah, uh, can I, can I help you? Ex ex excuse me. What, what's that? The eclipse was fire. I vote we, we get some SVR going. I, 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 that might actually happen, little pony. We gotta just, uh, just gotta make, uh, Well, I I don't know who this guy is. I could have I could barely see the eclipse of Washington. Oh, dude, it was an overcast in Buffalo in the Rochester area. It was like 
could barely see it, but I got a couple photos, um, so I can't I can't complain. But yeah, it, it was cool. It's cool to see it. Um, uh, excuse me. Uh, was that John? He he left. Yo, what up? I'll be rapping like little pony, yeah. John is in the house, like, dude, John. I didn't even expect you to, uh, didn't expect you to come in today. Uh, I got that big check from Little Pony's fucking track, man. Really? Dinner Tell me about that. What's going on with that? Dinner's on me, man. I got. We're gonna get steaks tonight. Yeah, I see. I see. You brought the tomato paste. Everyone can't have a steak without tomato paste. Ah. Uh, yes. Yes, it is indeed, John. John is back. Holy shit! Is that John? There's no way. Unfortunately, um, I, I guess I guess John's here now. So no more solo stream for today. I guess I guess today we got a we got a guest. Um, uh, John, how you doing? Say say hi. Say what are your opening statements? What's up with the? What is this? Why is this here? Why is it tomato paste here? I don't know, dude. Some guy with a with a paper bag over his head just basically put this down, slammed it down. Then he walked over there. And he took off his bag, and he looked just like you. And then next thing you know, he fucking left, and then you came in, and I, I don't fucking know. I think we should do something with that before the end of the stream. What, a thing of t tomato? What, what, what can I do with tomato paste? Like, put a spoon in it and just eat it? Eat it. You're wild, dude. This is like this is like 60 cents. It's a lot of money. Huh? That's... I miss the bag head, man. What the yeah, I don't, dude. Honestly, he would have been the baghead man. Probably would have been a better guest than than this fucking guy over here. See, dude, this fucking guy. All right, let's get Sly Cooper going. How'd you know we were playing Sly Cooper, John? You know. They also need to talk louder in the mic, dude, so people can hear you. I can mind you. <laughs> Little pony, I gotta ask you a question before the stream starts, man. Little Pony, let me get a sample of this track, man. <laughs> John has been talking about this quite some time, and uh, I'm sure we finally will get answers to uh, John's epic cameo that he made today. It was not a cameo. It was a, hey, can you do this? Sure. What's the difference between that? Little Pony, what'd you think of my rap? John is, John is back in the house. And uh, it, seem, it seems something's being called out. You know, I've done my fair share of raps before. I d I've done raps with Shaq. It's it's simply the intro to the album, but I'll send it. Wait, what? Oh, what? You're the intro to the album, man. You're introducing the album. Little Pony's album? Yeah, dude. Just like how Tommy Wright the Third had like news flash. Wait, the... it's like track one on the record. Yeah. John is the goatest rapper of ever. I, I honestly think so. I think John is built different, guys. The rap was fire, but I'm going to use it for something else. <laughs> but the dialogue is in it. That's what I'm talking about. You got to send me a sample, please. I, I want to hear how stupid it sounds. All right, I'm going to get this PlayStation set up. John, John, John here, you, you entertain them. Yeah, you, you, John, you're such a, you're such a fan favorite. So, like, what do you have to say, John? Well, I get this thing figured out. Hello, folks on the internet. The three people that are watching this, I want to know what's popping in your life. What's going on? What does it say? Keep Discord momentarily. Dude, okay. Before we start, I just want to let y'all know. This was my childhood game, so if I start crying during the stream, you'll know why. This, this, yeah, this is a meaningful game to me. Now, now John, do you want to hear this intro, this intro master by uh, a Blue Pony? It's here. Yo, let's hear it. Let's go. Wait, I can hear the other thing go on, the YouTube situation. You gotta turn it up. Oh, restart it, restart it. 
<laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I feel I feel like this is gonna be weirdly good. Yeah, it sounds like a hor like a like a horror soundtrack. I like that. Shoot, I sent the version without the vocals. Yeah, I was like, damn, okay. You got me like blue balls over here. <laughs> yeah, s send me the one with the with the stupid ass vocals on it. Please. So John, tell me about your experience with uh with Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper, I just remember years when I was Oof. I had dude middle school. I'm talking middle school. I would go home and I had a problem with my PS2 where it uh the disc tray wouldn't work. So like I'd get home from school and I had to shove a butter knife in the disc tray and lift it up. Yeah. So the game would come out. And um dude, I remember spending so many hours on this game. It was the first like I don't know. This is the first one that I kind of uh, got into real bad. Jesus Christ, you're going to make me go deaf. That's too loud. Are you putting on. F oh, yeah, that's good. Breaking news! <laughs> Ongoing murder investigation is suspected that rappers Little Pony and Mike Kill may be involved with the killing of an unidentified individual. The remains of the body were found in an alleyway face down near North Howard Street. Unfortunately, the body was mangled past recognition. But clues and other information are being investigated. <laughs> Investigations are still ongoing. If more information is available, share it. That's hilarious. So when I was doing the, the, the voice, I was thinking about pitching, like down pitching some of the vocals or like um like double tracking. But I was like, I don't want to ch change anything too much because it might change the track. But that's cool that, yeah, you pitched it down. That's funny. Okay. So there, there's your update, John. <laughs> How does that make you feel, John? It makes me like laugh and, and and be happy. I'm 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 stoked to be on a rap track. Yeah, and you said you were retiring from the industry. Whatever happened to that? Well, I'm not retired from the, that industry. I never got in it. That's that's the <laughs> you can't retire something you never went into. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we can we can sort of hop into uh, hop into some nice good old classic uh, Sly Cooper. So yeah, uh, how you how you guys been? I mean, like, I'm so, I'm gonna start up the game. Um, uh, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna disable this. We'll have the capture card up. Yeah, that's what's up. So you playing Donkey Kong in the background? Yeah, dude, I played. I'm playing some Donkey Kong Country Two. Did you come? Like some like creepy eerie music. For what? Sly Cooper? Yeah, it's gotta be like some sort of. 
But you got you got to speak louder, John. If you want to be on, I'm just busting your butt. All right. Thank you, Mac and John, for your contribution. Yes, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Why? John, why'd you want to go by Mac and John? Because I think that's sick. I like that nickname. <laughs> it's better than like John. Mac and John. Yeah, it's a Mac and John. Yeah, but it's not. I, I guess like it's like cheese in the sense that it's like one syllable, but. I like it. So if I ever put out a rap record with that name, you'll know it's good. Yeah. Well, all right, man. So, uh, who remembers Sly Cooper as a kid? You know, I we actually were probably gonna consider playing Jack and Dexter, but it didn't happen. It didn't make the cut. Did not make the cut. Alright, here we'll make this here. So like Ooh. Yeah, how's this look? That's good. I just want this thing to like fall to the ground and just explode here. Here. John. here, John, learn how learn how to play this oh, game. I'm gonna play? Yeah, dude, learn how to play. So what do you gotta what do you gotta say? What do I gotta say? How about that punk footage? Oh, was it the one was it the uh clip that punk got it was the clip on AEW that got leaked? You know, I haven't checked that out yet. I actually, I've heard that that was uh, potentially going to be leaked. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff did actually happen, especially in regard to that, uh, since the last time we streamed. Um, that, right? Especially when you consider the fact that Punk was in WrestleMania and was actively a part this. of it. This was like, dude, this game was like pre-Bloodborne. Like, this is when the agitation started with video games. Like Cooper's where it's all changed. Yo, how about that uh, Drew McIntyre win? You know how like he finally won the championship and he was crying and he was just ready to, to start his reign and boom, you know Damian Priest just comes in and just like be like, nope, I'm taking this away from you, Money in the Bank. That was that was definitely a throwback to like uh, you know Money in the Bank ladder match victories at the end of a. Uh, world title match, you know? Like, remember what Edge did that to John Cena? It wasn't leaked. AEW just straight up showed on their primetime show. Oh my god. Ooh! I didn't know that part. That's interesting. I, yeah, I know. I should definitely check that out. Um, I, I probably will check that out after the stream, too, because I'm due for it. I definitely Dude, want to talk more about it. it. Do I have to click a button? Yeah, I, I'm, and I'm figure. I'm gonna get some water. Any real ones play this game out there? Little Pony, I'm proud of you, man. That track is good. I'm happy about it. I'm waiting for the rap to come. Damn it! While we're watching John play video games, guys. Remember, Sly, hold down the circle button near the blue stealth auras to perform super sneaky feet moves. Oh my. This is the first. Wait, is this the first level? I think so. Is it? Yeah, it should be the first level. Oh shit, okay. It should be How's Punk's this? Revenge Tour. Dude, I don't know what we can really do with Punk. <laughs> Just. Yo, how about Pat McAfee on mic though? That's pretty. It's been pretty funny. The rest, the last few episodes of Botchamania with Pat McAfee, in a lot of these segments are just hilarious. Oh, shit. Just gets like Michael Cole corpse saying it's hilarious. Dude, this was where platformers were like the the pinnacle. This was the pinnacle of 3D platformers, John. 
John's about to bust out the waterworks here. I don't. Oh, wait a second. Come on. Did you guys do anything for the eclipse? Um, we got the total eclipse over here. And man, the traffic was not as bad. It was actually kind of dead. Dude, why isn't this working? What, what, are you, what are you trying to do? I don't know what I'm trying to do. I feel like I have to... Cause this is where I was. Come on, where's the cheat codes? Is this gonna let me in? No. You gotta bust out the cheats, John. Ah, oh, I forgot I had that capability. Oh. Punk interviewed on MMA Hour. Cost through the title. Cost through the title again. Gets vindiction from AEW airing his fight footage, proving he was right. Damn. Dude, is this the beginning? Is AEW cooking or what? I mean, I can't say. I, I actually, I, I really want to learn more about that. Uh, what'd you, uh, what'd you think about the the Rock's role in this WrestleMania this year? Do you think he really, he really killed the heel role? Dude, Rock his heel was fucking amazing. Like, dude, he he swore, dude. You know what was the best part about that match at WrestleMania, which was like a tag team match with like The Rock uh, and Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins? You know what was cool about that, John? What? There was a tag match and they both went outside the ring. And The Rock, since he's in charge and he's like playing heel, he basically told the ref, like, Bro, if you start counting, you're fired. I'm gonna fire you. You know why? Because I don't give a fuck. And then and like everyone was like, Oh my god, The Rock just swore! And then I was just like, Holy shit, the, the Rock Swore. The Rock Swore. Did he really? Yeah. On live TV? Yeah, dude. Is there was a lot of swearing at this most recent WrestleMania, man. Even Logan Paul swore, man. Yeah, but Logan Paul's... I don't know what to say about that situation. How do you feel about Logan Paul being a wrestler? I don't. I... I'm kind of... I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. It's like... Gotta speak up, John. One second. Get him on the Like, from my understanding, that guy was more of like a influencer, and then he became like a wrestler. Right? Right? I, I, yeah, I think so. He became a... And he just sort of stuck. Yeah. It, it's like... I don't know. Sometimes I think WWE is like... I don't know. It's different, man. It's like... The decision. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's all like, um... Sorry, I'm very focused. The Rock the rock Run had its moments, but there's some weird stuff in it. As you would expect, but, you know, nothing like nothing like being a, co uh, a Cody crybaby, am I right? Ugh. Uh, Drew broke Punk's arm, but uh, Punk broke Drew's spirit. Dude, this has got me going. Now, uh, yeah, I'm gonna look up the... I'm gonna catch up on the punk drama after this. I've been playing a lot of Deus Ex and watching Arby and the Chief for the past two weeks. So, I mean, I'm like, I, you know, I'm pretty much just in it. You know? I was, uh, I was showing John about, like, what Machinima was back in the day. Um, you guys remember Machinimas, right? You guys have a favorite Machinima show back from, like, the... 2010s. Uh, oof, 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 oof. Like a, a, you know, the go-to for a lot of people is Red versus Blue and uh, and Arby and the Chief as like the big ones for Halo. Um, and then there was like uh, Sandy Not Included. You remember that show? That show got away with a lot of stuff. You know. Dude, I re I remember why. I Dude, John's being reunited right now. He's feeling it. Feels good to be a punk fan right now. Dude, this game is like... Oh. oh! 
Punk's got it, man. Dude, Punk Punk is going places. I think doesn't I feel like Punk looks older than he actually is. And you know, I think he's like he's like still in his forties, right? Yo, how about the fact that we got John Cena to come in? John Cena's back? He he made a cameo at uh WrestleMania. He just showed up. He was like, Yeah, I'm I'm back. WWE probably loves that. John, do you know that uh, this past WrestleMania was the first WrestleMania without Vince McMahon influence? No, I didn't know that. It's a big deal, man. It's really big. So, I don't know the drama around Vince McMahon. Does, from my understanding, everybody does not like him. Yeah, yeah. And now, is that part of his character, or is he just not a liked person? Um... I, I think Vince McMahon is such a complex person, it's kind of hard for me to, like, say all the details make actual sense about it but like the general gist of it is that he is a he definitely his character is an exaggerated form of himself but is genuinely still probably a part of his personality and i think as the longer he ran the company the more that sort of persona took over uh who he is and uh oh, so he got in trouble for soliciting sex from a younger employee promising uh you know a uh, promotion and uh various other favors um, and there was a lot of leaked uh, phone messages of him saying some very uh, some very lewd things um, lewd. very sus very sus of what he would do to you John um, well I you know sometimes it's good to leave the guy wondering and I think uh, you should probably just be left wondering what he's I think you should disclose disclose what what he said the only thing that's bugging me about uh, about The Rock's current run is that he still got what he wanted. He won the main event at WrestleMania and got to pin Cody. I think that's what probably they used to entice The Rock to just be a part of the uh, the whole storyline to begin with. Maybe I don't know. I think he was probably just a uh, he was probably just like a stand-in or something or has was under contract. Dude, I don't remember. What did you just say? Something about the furnace. But honestly, I, I can't complain with The Rock getting a pin on Cody because I, I can understand the purpose of doing it to kind of uh, make it seem like uh, Cody's not going to win the next match. It's supposed to make it seem like more of like an underdog with the way that bit was doing it. Um, I don't know, man. I, I At least Cody got a clean victory over Roman um, on, this, on night two. I honestly, like that match on night two ended really quickly. I feel like it ended like 15 minutes before it was supposed to, I think. But it was a good match nonetheless. What the hell do you mean I need more clues? Like imagine like try imagine like spending years trying to become the world heavyweight champion, only to lose to the champion who's been the champion for like three years by just having one of his buddies come in and hit you with a steel chair again for like the twelfth pay per view in a row. That'd be pissed. Okay, what clues are you talking about? Oh, so they under, what I understand, the original idea was The Rock versus Roman for the title with The Rock even pitching to win, but they changed it due to the reaction. Yeah, I don't think that would really... Because uh, I, I, don't, I don't know where they could fit Cody Rhodes into that storyline. I, I personally think um, that despite that being the initial plan, it would make more sense uh, that they had that idea of Cody winning this WrestleMania since last WrestleMania when he lost. That's what I think. I think that when Co once Cody Rhodes lost at the uh, last year's WrestleMania, I uh, I sort of like put the pieces together like, okay, I see what they're going to do. They're going to build this into a thing for a year, and then Cody is going to win again. Um, and that actually ended up happening, I guess. What are you talking about? I need more clues. What clues are you spoken? Come on, John. I really don't. We smoke the fine. We smoke the dankest, the dankest clues in all the fucking you know, land. I remember this game getting it, it frustrated me a little bit because it doesn't like you know how some games when you're like stuck for a while it'll like give you clues or help you. Yeah, yeah. Games baby people nowadays, John. Yeah, this one did not. You just have to figure it out, man. Like it's like uh, when I was playing Dave Sex, it's like that too. Come on, John. Come on. 
Cody was going to face Seth for the title if Rock versus Roman happened. Get it. Was that like the uh like in lieu of night one, night two? Is that is that I think is that we're getting at? Um do man. Seth, Seth and Cody both worked double time with that fucking pay per view, man. The night one match, I think, was pretty stacked. Like I honestly could not complain about that main event, the tag match. Adrenaline in my soul. Something, something. Cody Rhodes. Honestly, I'm just happy that we had the Rock play heel for a little bit. That's all I'm not. That's all I'm saying. What the hell, dude? Why? Yes. Okay. Okay. Just to just for confirmation. I don't... Come on, John. You gotta think outside the box. Where haven't you gone yet, man? He's not really telling me what I need to do. Because this game is for kids, man. Like, you're supposed to already know what to do. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah. Seth came out with 1% health. <laughs> Dude, for real, though. Dude, I'm gonna lose it. Give me the clue. Or give me something. Oh! Right hey, what here. was that? What, dude, is that a clue? Yeah, I didn't see this. Dude, what are you gonna do? Fucking freak out, dude? What are you gonna do? You gonna fucking hit the hit the table now? God damn it! It's right here. You're gonna all you're gonna German suplex my cat? Is that what you're gonna do, John? Yeah, yeah. God damn it! I got my WrestleMania merch shirts today. Oh, nice, dude. What kind of shirts did you get? Is it from uh this WrestleMania? Oh, son of a bitch, man. That's on the struggle. Why, why would you? Why would you think you could walk in there, John? Because what? What's this thing up here? You gotta get all the go. Did you turn in all the clues? Do you have all the clues now, man? No. Can you believe this guy? Okay. We're watching John. Uh, he's the he's the angriest gamer you've oh, ever heard. You know what? It's because I have to. I have to go to this magical box. Okay, so where's the box? Isn't that right there? That box? Yeah, it's right here. So maybe I did something? I got the Seth Cody team shirt and the Cody versus Roman match shirt. Dude, wear them both together. Fucking bastard. Wear them with a buddy. What is this? Oh, what's this guy got? Oh! Hey, that's what I like to see, John. Is this another... I think that's where you started, right? I don't know. Oh! I feel like yes, but I also feel like no. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, John. You yeah, got this. Yeah, this is, a, this is different. Okay. Pretty sure that's where you spawn, dude. Why was there just a bunch of characters over there? John Tent. The finest John Tent in all the land. John, where you been, man? God damn it. I've been with my family on a trip. Your, your wife and kids? Yeah, my wife and kids. Jeremiah. Yeah, John has a, uh, he has an eight-year-old son named Jeremiah. I'll tell you what. Son of a bitch. Dude, Dude John, I could kick your ass in SVR. Dude, I'm pretty fucking lost. You're you're lucky this is an SVR, dude. You know. There was like a golden age of 3D platformers right around this time. You know, like the Jack series and uh, Spyro and shit. No, I actually have nothing interesting to talk about. I'm just sort of, just uh, it's okay. dude. I, I woke up like 30 minutes ago, man. I don't even know what's going on. Holy crap! Well, you like, just like Cooper. Like, dude, I fucking woke up and some guy had a bag over his head. Like, what the fuck is that? What am I supposed to do with that? 
you try to figure that out. What's up in this? Ooh! John broke my, <laughs> my mic arm. Okay. I hope I didn't. That didn't work out. Okay. So I think that just gotta get attacked. Jesus Christ! I'm not touching. I'm not touching. I'm not touching this anymore. John broke everything. Where's the? Um, do you have another Lisa, string on that? We got some technical issues. We got some technical issues, boys. Holy fuck! I ripped that. Broke. Dude. Dude, this. Dude, this stream's ruined. Dude, John ruined this stream. You know this. Can you? Can you? Can you really? Can you blame him? Yo, little pony, what you been up to? Dropping the heat? <laughs> One of the funniest things about punk Let's do a call in. Let's do a call in. You want to do Dude, there's like nobody there's nobody watching us right now. I know, that's what's funny about dude, it. Dude, we we haven't done anything entertaining in minutes. You're you're also you're England as well. There you go. Let's do a call in. Adrenaline oh my, my soul something something Cody wrote. Holy crap. One of the funny things about Punk versus Drew. Dude, I really messed your stuff up. This is wild. Can you believe him? Dude, I let me see, uh This entire claw is now is now uh destroyed. I, I need to get a new one of these, they like these mic stands. I can't do anything with this thing. Wild. It's insane. Alright, let's do this freaking feculent review. Do what? We're gonna do it on stream. All right, Can right. we rec screen record we're, it? I, I, I could try. I gotta get this thing back up. We're gonna do a review of your, your music right now on his stream. So you gotta tune in to Uncle Unbated's YouTube channel right now. And we're gonna do a feculent orchiectomy live stream review. Right now. Jesus, John. I just sent it. I just sent in. That's what we're doing. He sent. You know what? He sent me a. He sent me a link. This is, it was only a matter of time that this was gonna happen. <laughs> Dude, this is hilarious. How are we gonna both be able to listen to it? I I don't know. Uh, I mean, we could probably just like flip this, like this. You know. Wait, can you play it through here? I can try, yeah. Right. Um, What's going on, guys? Here, let me, let me... John destroyed my uh, my mic arm, so... Uh, I'm gonna... I gotta get a new one of these things. Yeah, I'm hosting a panel at Ubicon this year. Like on my, uh, like through, uh, through what? I just sent you a link to your phone. On, on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, we're getting ready for the next segment, boys. Let's see if they make it through. This is honestly a, a, a challenge. A challenge? How do you explain... Uh, what we're about to listen to. Oh my goodness. Hold on, don't play it, don't play it. Oh, it's here. Don't, don't play it yet, John, because it's gonna, it's gonna literally kill their ears. Okay. We're gonna do the live stream. Let's see what's up. Well, when's the next, uh, wrestling VHS stream? I like having the TV in the corner. I, uh, I, I will work with something with Matt, because I think he got a few more. Um, dude, Matt's been listening to these like religiously. He's a uh, he's been a big fan of it. Um, so I just got all this stuff from the arm done. Honestly, it was a matter of time before I had to get a new one of these. So so yeah, so yeah, I'll probably I'm I'm working with Matt to get something planned. Um, probably during the weekends. Uh, so I'll keep yourself 
uh, posted on that. Let me uh, let me do this. Hold on. Let me see with this. I'm gonna turn this down. Dude, this is gonna hurt my ears. We're gonna play through the screen. We're gonna play the dude. What? This thing's loud as. Oh, hold on. Let me see here. We gotta do it for. He asked for it, so we're gonna give it to him. John, when my full album releases, will you listen and review it in full? Only if you buy Austin a coffee. Say that again in the mic, John. <laughs> Only if you buy Austin a coffee. John, John's a good friend. You know, he's uh, he's pay pigging, uh, so I don't have to. <laughs> uh, Alex said he's gonna be in the stream for in two minutes to check it. All right, this is gonna be a very this is gonna be very interesting. John, I don't even know if I. Do you have the capability to pull it up, like two screens? Like what? Like what do you mean? So like our face right there, and then and then the album, like, so they could see what's popping. Yeah, I can see what's up. All right. <laughs> um. So this is a challenge for all these four people that are in this um in this live stream if you can make it through this album <laughs> and and stay on this stream you are never going going to die in this life you're going to live forever okay this is a challenge so stay here i, I don't listen to john you should leave i don't i don't even know why you're still here watching this stream dude it's just a couple of uh just a couple of autistics just like um just saying constant uh, bs into the microphone so if if you if you feel like you need to leave, um, <laughs> it, by all means, you could the door's right there. No, yeah. the door you can't. You watch your favorite YouTuber. He just posted a let's play that you've been wanting to see for years. You know, if I don't see that, if I don't see that viewer count go down to zero by the end of this, then we got a problem. <laughs> so, hold on, I'm gonna play this real quick. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little, um, a little. Uh, review on oh not a review uh a J john this is gonna leak over onto the mic dude it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt a lot you don't have a way that we can have two headphones go on um we gotta figure out a way all right all right like what would there's probably a way to do it there's a way you don't have a dual connector for the headphones uh, dude i didn't even know those existed I don't have, I don't know what a dual connector for headphones are. There's, whoosh, there's two. You plug it in, and we got two. Uh, John, I don't have that. But, but dude, all right, all right. Uh, who's in? Who's in here? Like, uh, so what if I? What is this, dude? You told me this was jazz. And so. Maybe if you put the mic back, at, I don't know. It doesn't matter, dude. Dude, I just wanna here. I gotta here. give him a proper review. Put on, put on the heads, like headphones, right this, and just keep the right ear up. I don't. I look. I is there any album that where you actually like all the songs? Um, Lincoln Park. All right, dude. So can you pull? Can you pull this album up on the screen so they can like? see what we're listening to yeah yeah how do i hide let me see here dude check this out okay um <laughs> okay i i let me we don't plan we never planned for this stream so this is this is when shit's gonna get real the feculent orchiectomy album release review. Let's see. Is that a bot? Yeah, they want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here with your capitalism. Yeah, get out of here with that fake promotion shit. I'm gonna give you some promotion with feculent orchiectomy. <laughs> Let's see what we, we got. God damn! Seven people came in for. All right, so let's let's do a little bit of.
awful. All right, plus me out. Uh, this video is sponsored by Burgundy Red. What the the way that it does that? Yeah. Do man up. All right, man. Bird up, bro. Let's see what we're working with. Instead of Anthony Fantano. Uh. <laughs> All right, how about now? I'm. I haven't listened to this in a while, so here you go. I'm looking forward to. Well, like, you haven't heard. You haven't. You haven't heard most of these songs. Born. Born with gums to the curb. I'm pretty excited about that one. You're on that song, John. You yeah. got vocals on that song. Do you remember recording it? Yeah, I do. Audio gone. Lamberger yeah. fucked up. I like John's the, on that track. I like the promo pic that you guys took. <laughs> Oh, cool. All right, so I know what I did. I just had the mic and... There's a lot of latency. There's a... Um, should be like 10, 15 seconds, I think. Can you play the song and talk at the same time? Yeah, yeah. Testing one, two, and playing the Turn song. Turn shit down. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy fuck. Turn it down. Cornette just dropped his thoughts on the punk fight footage. Oh, dude, I need a Cornette take. My stomach's bleeding, but who cares? I'm in the hospital. I'll turn this. All right, all right, John. How about if I turn? Dude, I already have this pretty low. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, we're gonna let her rip. Okay. All right. Yep. I, um, I can hear you and the song now. Um, you got you gotta listen to it as loud as you can handle, John. It's designed to be a loud album. That's the point. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Can right. I hope you can All hear right. yourself. Start from, track, start from track one after each song. I want to hear what you guys think. Okay. Joe and Jason and Bishop should be watching too. Oh fuck. Try I was to... wondering. I was like, why did like twenty five people? <laughs> I never like, got baby why here. Did, like, <laughs> Joe, Joe, Jason, and Bishop. We're all the main vocal. There's just as many vocals from Jason, Joe, and Bishop as there are me on this album. Like a lot of them are Joe and Jason and Bishop too. All right, let's get this shit going.
All right, John. Um, what's your personal thoughts going into this album? You know, here's the thing. I, I, I know that my friends made this, so it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be like a piece of, you know, just, just Mozart. Keep speaking, speaking. What? Keep speaking. Keep, keep speaking. Yeah, keep going. So, why do I hear, like, what? Okay, okay, okay. Let's start it. Right. Are you ready? Oh, do, wait, do we start right here? Some people call me a murderer. I prefer the term. All right, I'm going to turn this up. killer. <laughs> and smell the burnt, crispy flesh of fucking hell. Some people call me a Sounds like you're being tortured by Saw. The song was designed just for you. Listen to the whole thing. It even has someone guiding him through my through the fall. <laughs> the lyrics are gonna get you banned. When? Can you can you open up another um, tab so I can hear the, look at the lyrics too? Not to be a picky asshole. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. Now play it. Sorry. All right. Let's see. Dude, which song which song's gonna get me banned, Joe? Wait, just click it. Oh my god. <laughs> the psychotic satanic murder. <laughs> this is supported by three artists. Uh, by three, uh, ben, the three people who? Three people, uh, Joa. <laughs> it's starting off strong, that's all I gotta say. Honestly, yeah. It's starting off, it's, it's tickling my fans, fancy. This one is called Cannabis Induced Gourmandization of the Mango Purifying Rectal Mucus Drenched Prostitute <laughs> Chunks. <laughs> All right, turn it up. They won't get you banned. It'll be hard to read. How's the how's the audio on the viewer end? You guys, is that is that a good volume for you guys? It's pretty loud. I don't want to hurt your ears. What do you have to? What do you just say about that sample? Really? A, this is what I would expect it to sound like. Yeah, that was a riff right there. Kind of snuck in. Good. I'm on four billion USD super bank. Maggie W. Is that the name of the song, actually? Oh, here you Yo, John's going to town! When are, when are vinyls coming out for this? <laughs> really goofy. Oh, dude, mission accomplished. Someone left. That John face. This is a live John re reaction. The born with guns to the curb. Here we go. You gotta read those lyrics, John.
Dude, he's really he's really looking at these lyrics. Sweetheart, today it's all about you. <laughs> it's as I would expect, Alex. Right? But dreams do come true, but not for you. I can't hear it as as well as John can, but I uh, it sounds crazy, man. Muddy Air Jordan One Retro High with these satin reds. <laughs> <laughs> So then, which one of you guys didn't support the album? Because there's only three people who support this album right now. You gotta check out this album on vinyl. Check this out on uh, on Spotify. I don't know if this is on Spotify. Oh my god. Rate each song out of ten. All right, yeah. At the end of this song, we'll 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 take we'll, <laughs> we'll we'll put some comments in. That's me. Dude, you guys summon you summon John's dad. Yeah, Pops is calling. Anyway, let's go. Let's keep well, it going. All right, all right. You just want to jump to the next one? Chaotic Necro Demon from the Secret. Oh man, I want to le read some lyrics before we get into. Okay, this. okay. What What are your thoughts on these lyrics, John? Is this gonna blow up on me or what? You be careful. Like I just you're gonna have to hold it now. All right, here we go. Let me let me let me read it. So this is track number four. Behold thy crucifix, engrossed with the lifeblood of discarded babies. Cheerful, cheerful children taken off guard and shoved through the window of the cathedral spire. Nameless graves swamped in sewage, empire of executed kids. Jesus! One by motherfucking one. Overseen by Dema, Dem, Demanio... Maniacal Death Squad, a vision of a new world, a mausoleum of mutilated mun <laughs> mutilated munchkins, tremendous valleys, vast rusty expanses, glittered by bro brobladigning pyres. Their faces resembled a surrealist painting, glazed over expressions, lifeless, uncanny. There were so many of them that you couldn't see the ground. They sapped the moisture of the trees, deoxygenated the soil, adding salt to the dirt. Every building on earth destroyed. The sun is crying. Their bodies transfixed and tra transmograft. Their knotted hair dried the seas. The skin wrapped tightly around the earth's diameter. Their flesh... <laughs> congelated their scabs illustrate a devastating topology where futile attempts once raised futile flags the final mirage of incestuous form has become one in it bore a cross a single heart beating a single manis manifest manifestation floating in the black unity interesting now now john as an english major um what do you have to say about that? You know, I think I think the one lyric that really caught my attention, I think it's, like, spectacular. I think it's out of the box, you know, innovative is um, a mausoleum of mutilated munchkins. What do you think about that lyric? I think it reminds me of, the, of Donut Holes. Okay, so I think uh, we're ready to go. All right. Behold the crucifix engrossed with the Here we 
very good, John. Oh, John's getting down. John's gonna open up pit in here. Surprised the headset is great. Holy fuck! Fuck out. This is how people really do it. Dude, I would kill, I would, dude, I would murder a penguin to this. Oh, dude. Did you guys record an actual blunder for this part? Jesus Christ, it's a stupid snare that gets me about this project, man. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, so we're, we're four songs in, John. Which one was your favorite so far? What, what do you want to, you gotta rate these out of ten. Uh, I like the vocalist on this one, so I, this is one of my favorites so far. But then again, I think, I think, um, I think number one, Visions to Kill with with the intros got me got me going i think it's pretty interesting you're feeling you're feeling like feeling pulled in like you're reeled in yeah like number one's definitely got me going now now what are your thoughts on the lyrics of puppy pickaxe brain removal i think we should do another read i get a kick out of this all right all right okay so number five is puppy pickaxe brain removal <clears throat> the lyrics are here we go hey don't be blaming me i'm just reading the lyrics don't man read the next song out loud like what do you well we're doing it john read the lyrics to puppy pickaxe i'm doing just it read them, just read them in your head no no i'm reading them i'm giving it a, a skip skip over any word that get me banned john I, i'm just get i'm gonna get into it just, John, if you get me banned on YouTube, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get John, into I it. I swear to God, uh, if you get no, me banned no, again no, on YouTube, no, I'm here. We go grabbing the puppy by its snout. Come on, man, take it easy on John, that. John, John, come on. Grabbing the puppy by its snout. No, this is no, no, no. Don't, don't look at that, John. Yeah. No, no dude. What are you? What are you? Cobes's, Cobes's girlfriend? What are you? Listen, man. what is this song about, man? It, it's don't don't worry about it. Like, don't, don't don't worry about it. No. Okay. Who <laughs> would not read that? Here, here, grab, grab it, grab it here. Ah, uh, yes, blackened death metal. As I don't, I'm serious. Don't. It doesn't get better. It's alright, guys. I, I I stopped John before it got too late. <laughs> D 
Dissonant Avant-Garde post board Whatever that means. Do I even think saying that can get you banned nowadays? This is a public service announcement. <laughs> Mouth old peanut lamber. <laughs> Insane. John, you gotta wear a headphones to get that studio stereo. Yeah, we only have like one headset, so we're just kinda like Here, I'll do this. Yeah, let me we'll do song by song. You think so? We'll switch. Yeah. I think that was the end of that song. No, no, it's still got still got a minute. We got lots of songs. We'll do we'll do song for track like you listen to one. No, there's like if there's anything else that's, that's gonna get me banned, uh, let me know, because I know I gotta keep John on a leash for this kind of shit. John's in it. John's John is in the middle of it right now. <laughs> I definitely want you both to be able to hear it. Um, yeah, that's kind of the situation right now. I didn't. We don't have that. Um... We made that. We made the decision to do this like I do today. We're letting the rip. Here. I wouldn't read any out loud, honestly. Here. I'll don't don't worry. I'll keep John. I'll keep John in the on his toes. Oh, let's be right. Here. Oh, still, still read them. I just don't read them out loud. I'll probably I'll probably just like age restrict the stream or something. Yeah, I could I could do so much with this. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's actual caveman shit. That's my favorite riff on the record. Hell yeah. I can see why this was Joe's favorite. This was a uh, Joe's selection. Joe would probably put this in an envelope on a blank, uh, blank tape and send it to his enemies. Just to, just to get a message across. Honestly, it kind of sounds like breakboard sometimes. Was this all recorded or was there sampled? My favorite is 4 billion. Oh, the, uh, the super bank. Good old 4B USD SB uh, S uh, as the acronym of this could be. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> John, did you help with this album? I've, I've laid down some both for about five seconds. Oh shit. This is insane.
Booger Collector. I can't read the lyrics to Booger Collector, man. You can't read the you can't read any of these lyrics out loud, John. Why? Are they offensive? They're gonna get me banned, dude. You're gonna be saying some things and making some and making some uh some you're gonna imply some things that, that YouTube is not gonna like, you know? Jesus Christ. That sounds like someone is uh is playing drums on a toilet bowl. Oh man, that ending is fucking. Dude, do awesome. people even call this music? Good old PCA. Oh, the lyrics for this is more organized. Yo, who is the writer for these? Scrambled sperm and egg. <laughs> Aimed at blank. Oh, this is de dude. This is definitely a breakcore riff. Music. This is awesome. <laughs> you all four collaboratively? Like, did you guys focus on a song or did you just all four work on each song together? Jesus Christ. There's like all four on every song. Oh my god! Put down the blunder. Put down the power tool. Jesus Christ. Let me see the art. Yo, who made this? God, that gives me a headache. Pretty good so far. Jake, Jake made that artwork. Jo supposedly, from my understanding, is Joe drew the logo, and then uh, Jake made that. If you look at the art, look at the art real quick. So I'm pretty okay. So you see that little piece? Yeah. Remember when Joe like hurt himself? He like cut himself or something like that. Yeah. Well, that's a picture of it. Oh, cool. Then so whose face is that? I don't know. I just noticed the face too. That's that's pretty sick. All right, so about halfway into the album, John, what, where do you lie on this? Uh, what what is your what's your opinion and thoughts? Um, this this stream playing this album has practically ruined the stream for a lot of people, and I think we achieved a lot with that. No, I think we achieved a lot with the stream. Fuck, John, you fucking broke it. You're gonna have to hold it up. There's no spring that holds it. My thoughts on this record, halfway through. You know, there were many times when I would get demos of this project, and I was like, I, I don't even want to listen to it. But for some odd reason, the more I listen to it, the more I get a little bit attracted to the weirdness. Of the, of the extreme? Well, no, it's just like different. You know, like, I think the one thing that uh, keeps the album, like, listenable is there's some vocal parts that are actually clean. They're not, like, just distorted. Yeah. Um, but there are some serious riffs in this, this album. I mean, they're weirdly done with electronic stuff, but, um, yeah, no, I'm digging it. I'm pissed off I can't read the lyrics, man. But Yeah, you can't read them out loud. You can read them in your head, dude. Yeah, I, I think this 
I, I texted Alex this morning because for some odd reason, I think I think that by posting this on Slam Worldwide, all the young kids are going to see it and they're going to think it's so like out of the box and stupid and funny. That I feel like this album is going to do very well. Yeah. No, I'm not even kidding. Like, I think that it... You think this is going to bring the kids in? No, like I... Like a whole I, new generation of... Uh... Well, no, I just think... I think... I think people are going to find... Like, it's going to be... I'm just predicting, okay? It's going to go on Slam or Wide, and some people are going to listen to it, and they're going to be like, all right, I need to send this to people, and it's going to... You get it. Read them in your head. I'm telling you. I think, I think the album's going to do good. Because it's weird. All right, let me let me read a couple lyrics. Man. Don't read, I'll, in, read in your head, bro. Yeah, but I'll I'll read them. If it's something if it's something good, you could read it out loud. But like, just watch what you say, man. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna keep this guy on a leash, man. I got I got bust out the whip. Just gotta look. Shit, John. I like this one. One and an eighth inch hex breaker jackhammer with vibration control. Tango down. I like that lyric. What is this? <laughs> Fifteen amp, sixty-six pound, one and an eighth inch hex breaker jackhammer with vibration controls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you ready to listen to light speed one minute, jackhammer? One minute. One minute. I gotta get one more in. Um, I'm just seeing if I could actually listen to one here and put one out. Perennial per- perineum pulverization. Some of this shit, I don't even know where you come up with it, how you guys come up with it, but. Alright, man. Let's keep it going. Alright. Here, left in. That's, that's my review. Hopefully it's good. I, I think, I think it's, I think it's. I think it's got its own aesthetic of being weird, and that's not just because I'm friends. I think it's I think it's something different. John says that there's a there's a chance that this will go platinum. I'm no, not platinum. I just think people are gonna find it weird. This is gonna be the do the future. People on Instagram and Tumblr are gonna get really into this. You, you guys should make a dumb video for it. Oh, here, John. Let me switch ears. Uh, let's take this one. This one's left. This one's right. So it's a little easier to work with. All right, all right. Here we go, John. Oh, we were supposed to play Sly Cooper. The review is phenomenal so far. Whoa. Yeah, they're very out there. It's like if Dude, I love snare drums. Oh. Yo, this is straight axel music. Oh yeah, dude. If it's got a breakdown, it's axel music. You just got Sly Cooper in the background. All I have to say is, I'm just surprised that Alex's laptop was able to not blow up from this project. Oh my god, I can imagine how big. The file? Yeah, there's at least a couple tracks. Oh! Oh, 
Oh! Yo, I like those little breaks, man. This <laughs> this album outlived three laptops. How long was this in uh in Dude, development? This thing is going. Dude, it sounds like Chowder in that episode when he went uh, sleep eating. Eight years since sophomore year of high school. This is eight years in the making. Oh my god. I told you, this is a... This is a... Freaking... You know John wanted to wait two weeks before listening to this? Dude gets back on his camping trip. He's like, I don't know if I'm ready for something like that. I think... <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I'm ready to... Let's just do it. An hour. Oh! Yo, who's soloing right there? That sounds like Will. Is that Will Dorothy Motor? Is that Will, Alex? This one we actually sampled an actual jackhammer. This kind of sounds like a uh, like white zombie during the Space Ghost Coast to Coast intro, but with like grindcore in front of it. Those recorded like five years ago. Oh my god. Yo, Will just put it down. That's insane. I was about to say, that sounds like Will. This is, uh, this is ISSG. Yo, in... Oof. This is number nine. This is, yo, I remember this one. What's your memories on this track? I remember listening to this and being like, Jesus, okay. We got eight minute songs in here? Yeah, let's Yeah, I, I like that that riff that came before it. It was kinda like funky. this man oh my god oh oh stomp it over to Papa John's with this one yeah I like that breakdown with the vocals I remember this, man. He 
He's got the toilet on, the toilet vocals <laughs> on that. <laughs> My question is, where did you track the vocals for this? You must have drove your dad insane. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Well, how, how did that one make you feel, John? You're at, we're in the last ten sec. The, the I think I think that one was kind of unique in the sense that there was a lot of interesting like um, transitions, and especially yeah. there was like a one part with the breakdown where the vocals were they just like were so altered in a way it just sounded fucked up in a good way. Interesting. And so now we're back at uh, at Supermax Prison Break. This Okay, what I'm trying to say is that breakdown, you made Lorna Shore sound like a bunch of fools. All right, keep it Whoa. going. Whoa. Keep it going. Keep it going. John, John firing some shots here. Keep it going. on Spotify yet? The three long songs towards the end were the best. I gotcha. Yo, I'm, I'm digging this one. Yeah, I like this one too. For Christ? Okay. Uh, is that... Oh, my bare knuckle smash? Is that one you're talking about? <laughs> Wait, look at this. Look at this here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one. Look at that. Why can't I? I I think I understand why he's saying that we can't read off the yeah, lyrics. Yeah, yeah, John, you're gonna get me. You're gonna get me banned. Yeah, it'll be the end of your career. It'll be on Spotify 420. Yo, that's Will. That's Will, I think, ain't it? Who is that? Shit, we're getting into the Doomy part. Here we go. Oh, this dude, John's been waiting for this part in this album. Yo, Will's gonna want a cut from this record. Just letting you know. Supermax, Supermax Prison Break Pet Cemetery Necro something something. Thanks, John. Thanks for not getting me banned yet. Yeah, close. <laughs> it got close. Yo, man, it's it's funny, man. It says September 2002 was your last release. That's crazy. September 2002. What? It says 2000. Music at five. It's it says September 2002. It does, it does. 
Damn, Alex, you've been around for a while. Oh my god. Old. I just like the idea that someone just randomly joins the stream and, uh, and just hears this. Oh my god. Yeah, we lied. The rest of the album is even better. Oh, I better be, Alex. You know, my time is valuable. I'm a famous YouTuber with uh, four viewers. All of them from people who made this album. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. What the fuck is that? I like that riff. John, what did you contribute to this album? Dude, I told you. One track of vocals. Oh my, oh my god. Someone's waiting in traffic. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Dude, I wish to see these guys live. Like, since they're in Indonesia, it's kind of hard, hard to work with. Yeah, I, I wish I wish I could get a hold of this band from. Malu Maluku Indonesia. Pull up their promo pick real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Indonesians don't look too far different than your regular everyday Americans. I'm show. wondering where you guys took the pictures. This is Photoshop. Totally Photoshop. No, I, no, he's for. Hey, click that. He's Photoshop in there, but no, this this was. Yeah. Pull that up over okay. oh my god. <laughs> Leave it on the screen. Okay. <laughs> Leave it on the screen. <laughs> oh my god. I already have a headache. This is this is pretty good. Alex, this picture oh, of this you is funky. You're like looking up into space, man. The <laughs> picture of him is so funny, man. What, what, what would you allow at live shows if this, if this was live? You think you would allow like walls of death and you know, people pushing each other? Dude, I, other I like want to have, I want to have a birthday show just to see them live. It's in June, man. My birthday's in June, man. Do me too, man. We can make it happen. Live performance, live at live at the, uh, the HQ. Yo, if you could if you could make your album like instrumental and then just do vocals live. Oh my god, it's insane. Dude, that riff is very it's it's groovy. I 
That's insane. I I would work out for this. I don't know if I would do that. Maybe I'd do Come plank. on, rowing machine in this? I'd do planks for this. Planks planks make you make you get to that level of extreme. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't run at like 9.5 to this. You wouldn't run like 12 miles an hour to this. Yo, this is my favorite part to this record right here. Dude, I'm digging this. I like the bass in the background here. Dude, this is going. Yeah, no, that was that's my favorite riff right there. All right, so this this next track, um, my bare knuckle smash price is. Uh, hey, hey, hey! Take something, it easy. Something that you have to experience yourself, John. Uh, you have to put on full on headset for this one. Why are you taking a break? That, that's what that's what Alex said, dude. He said right there. Like, can you read the comments? Like, we got we got a lot. We have a lot to read here on the stream chat. Like All Alex right. Gross having to say that true we did. All like right. Alex Gross saying, John, you have to put on headphones. Turn it up. Well, Tur I'm not. I'm not turning it up, dude. I, the think of the <laughs> one viewer. Okay. No, I'm talking about in my ears. <laughs> Can you still hear it when you No, I can't hear it. <laughs> I do actually I do have an idea. What is that, dude? He's he's going to link up headphones. It actually hurts it hurts even more uh, listening to earbuds. Oh, 
Jesus. Dude, my ears are bleeding. Uh. And this next one is uh, a cover of Taylor Swift. Uh, this next one's a Taylor Swift cover. It's something that I need to take ibuprofen with that. What was that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting tased. I can fuck with this. All right, don't read that next one, John. <laughs> I need to take a nap before this stream. Yo, Bishop killed Guitar. Who's this on vocals? Who sang all this? Is this John from Poison Pastry? Is this John from Poison Pastry?
What's the lyrics on this? Let me see the lyrics. There is no lyrics for this. No lyrics? Don't say anything. No lyrics on this one, huh? It's the only one without lyrics, actually. John, John's. Yo, oh, who's who's doing vocals on this? Got me putting that, putting on the feels. I'm getting all emotional and shit on this record. What the hell? John, you ready for the last the last track? Yeah, let's do it. This is all, this is all where it comes back down to.
John, look at this mess. That's our review. <laughs>